Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And for story number two, this one is going to get a lot of blood boiling because of, um, let's just say, this criminal got bailed out by Democrats. But before we get into that, let's start this like we normally do. People are always asking me, why am I so angry? The reason is because the country that I love is destroying itself from within. That's why I am. The angry conservative. Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And yes, you read the headline correctly. Domestic abuser bailed out of jail by leftist organization. Arrested for murdering mother of his children one week later. Hmm, that's interesting. An Oregon man bailed out of jail by the Portland Freedom Fund activist organization has been charged with murdering the mother of his children just one week after the leftist group secured his release. <laughs> oh, that, woo! He must be one of the guys that helps uh, a certain organization in Portland. Let's put it that way. The Portland Freedom Fund describes itself on its website as a volunteer-ran abolitionist organization currently dedicated to reducing harms perpetrated against our black, brown, and indigenous neighbors by the criminal justice system through posting bail so they may navigate their case from a position of freedom. All right, here we go. On August 10th, Mohammed Osman Adin, 33, was arrested for cutting off a GPS monitor that he was required to wear and violating a no-contact order with the mother of his children, Rachel Angel Abraham, 36. In, May, in a May petition for a restraining order, she had accused him of violence and threatening to kill her with a gun. Abraham was granted a protective order, but on July 26, one of the children allowed 
aided into her home. After gaining access, he reportedly strangled and threatened her. He was arrested and held on charges of felony strangulation, coercion, and misdemeanor criminal mischief. This was eight and six arrests for domestic violence involving Abraham. Oh, oh, this is this way to go, people. Way to go. Way to go. You did a you did a great thing for this family. Aiden was only jailed for 10 days when when the PFF posted his bail, which had been set at 20000 Amanda Trujillo, the president of the organization, only had to pay, to pay 2,000, 10% to secure his release. Trujillo did this despite a judge refusing to lower his bail after prosecutor Mackenzie M. Lidwick informed the court that there were significant lethality factors that would put the woman in danger if he was free, according to a report from Fox News. One week later, after Trujillo bailed him out, police found the body of Abraham strangled and stabbed to death in her townhome, according to a report from Oregon Live. Police had called at approximately 7 a.m. on August 27th after neighbors reported hearing screams, but the call was dropped and the person did not answer when the dispatcher called back. A few hours later, Aiden called police and reported the crime himself. He refused to perform CPR on his victim at the dispatcher's instructions. Neighbors and relatives told Oregon Live that Abraham had six children, two with Aiden. When police arrived at the home, Aiden was sitting downstairs with three of the children, ranging in age from two to seven. Fox News reports officers found Abraham's body covered with a bedsheet in a child's bedroom on top of a carpet soaked with blood. According to an affidavit, prosecutors said her body sh- showed bruises on her neck and her arms, cuts to her hands, and a large cervical cut across her face. A kitchen knife was found near her body, according to court records. The cause of death was determined to be strangulation. District Attorney Mike Schmidt has condemned the PFF for bailing the dangerous abuser out of jail. Our prosecutors aggressively pursued a high bail amount in this case, Schmidt said in a statement obtained by Fox News. Mr. Adams, intent to kill the victim was un- unambiguous. After the judge set Aiden's bail, the Portland Freedom Front undermined our efforts and the efforts of the court to save the victim's life by using their resources to bail him out. When a judge imposes bail, the defendant's ability to pay is nothing is among the factors they consider. The action taken by the Portland Freedom Fund circumvented this with tragic results. We offer our deepest condolences to the family of the victim and will dedicate our efforts to the full prosecution of this matter, the statement continued. On Tuesday, the Portland Freedom Fund posted a statement about the murder on their Facebook. Oh, this this should be good. Our thoughts are with the families and communities affected by this tragedy, particularly the children who have effectively lost both parents. Yeah! The statement began, it is profound tragedy when someone is harmed, when we know this personally and we believe that the people who have been harmed need and deserve access to community supports, trauma services, and healing. In line with our community values, we actively work to participate in harm repair reproductive practices when identified. This incident will be a priority for any opportunity to join in the work with those directly impacted. 
Well, maybe, maybe if you didn't go for the far left extremism, this woman would be alive. Just say it. The statement concluded by saying that in Mr. Aiden's specific case, the court had deemed him eligible for bail release, and he was referred to us as a financial provider for two small children with a letter of community support, along with support he has was receiving from the community, we were in contact with Mr. Aiden throughout the time between his release and rearrest and did not receive any indications for concern. No, you, and you would not say if you did or, you wouldn't actually admit if he did say that he was going to kill her. We know how you guys work. We're not dumb. Let me know what you guys think. Was this preventable or was this something that had to happen to show these people that they're dealing with monsters from time to time? It just, I just don't understand this. The Portland Freedom Fund, yeah, that they should have left well enough alone. But, you know, these people do not understand that some of us, some people might say they're going to do good, but they don't. Let me know what you think down below, down in the comments. I'll see everybody on the next one. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed.